While Tesla definitely specializes in apocalyptic equipment like the Cybertruck and the Powerwall and solar packages, they're also prepping for the apocalypse with their investments and their on-hand cash because Tesla five days ago finally completed that $5 billion capital raise, which of course dilutes the stock a little bit and has resulted in some of the worst days for Tesla stock ever, but oftentimes the market does not appropriately react to what is going on with the company because the fact that Tesla has another $5 billion of cash on hand I don't think people truly grasp how important and how valuable that can really be in their hands. For one, that officially means that they have more cash on hand than they have total debt, which is great news for any company, let alone an electric automaker. But of course, they're not just an automaker. In fact, they're doing a hiring ramp of solar for their New York plant right now, which means that Tesla Energy is probably going to continue to thrive, and we could likely see installments go up over the next few quarters. And even without this capital raise, Tesla was poised to have a kill killer Q3 and Q4 that was going to be consecutively breaking records because for one, those are seasonably the more popular parts of the year for people to be buying more vehicles. And also Fremont and Giga Shanghai are open and still ramping, adding assembly lines, installing that rear unibody casting process at Fremont, while at the same time we're seeing a spike in Model 3 sales in Shanghai. And guess what? Your boy predicted it. The Model Y assembly line is ahead of schedule. Originally, they were not planning on on deliveries for the Model Y out of Shanghai to start until January. Now that they're seeing that the facility internally and externally is pretty much ready, they're just on a hiring ramp right now, getting a bunch of people to work at the factory. And that means we could start seeing mass production of the Made in China Model Y in November and first official delivery starting in December. And Shanghai is already going great right now. So that means that they were going to have very, very profitable quarters in the first place. And now through that capital raise, they can invest a ton more into whatever they want, whether it be more R&D, these hiring ramps, and ramping up solar production, ramping up Model Y production. In fact, with $5 billion, Tesla could easily open two to three, maybe even four new gigafactories, just with that capital alone. And it's crazy to think they only have two active gigafactories currently. So that's how massive of a capital raise this is. It essentially means that if Tesla wanted to, they could double their annual output capacity. And of course, as we know how profitable Shanghai is and how much Tesla saves, on the manufacturing efficiencies of the Tesla Model Y in America even, this is great news. And I think that's why you're seeing investment groups like ARK Invest pick up so much Tesla stock when it's low right now because they know, while it may seem like it's dropping off the deep end right now, in the long term, there's really nothing but good news to look forward to. Battery Investor Day, of course, is coming up and there's all kinds of great announcements and likely a lot of exclusive patented and unique technology that only Tesla will have access to that's only going to make their cars better and, of course, cheaper to produce and hopefully that means cheaper for the consumer as well, but also just knowing that the batteries they're using right now are industry leading when it comes to power efficiency and how they're able to scale production, and that quarter three should be their best quarter ever for deliveries, and then quarter four with Giga Shanghai ramping up and Fremont expanding, quarter four should be even better. So that's why I'm predicting, you can hold me to it in today's video, I think Tesla is going to exceed their annual delivery guidance this year. Originally, before the pandemic and everything, they expected they would hit around 500,000 vehicles, and I'm predicting they're going to hit 510,000 vehicles delivered in 2020, primarily thanks to Giga Shanghai catching up a lot of that slack that Fremont had when it was shut down for six weeks, and with the extra added assembly lines and rear unibody casting press being implemented in Fremont right now, hopefully that helps with quality control problems. That would be great and very much appreciated, but Tesla is poised to have some very, very re-encouraging earning reports for the next few quarters, and knowing that they have more cash on hand than they have total debt is a big win. So good on you, Tesla. Keep doing what you're doing. Clearly, these guys know what's up, and I'm very excited to see how high these estimated deliveries are going to be for the next few months. Also, on a completely separate note, Lucid Air is having an event today where they'll be revealing a lot of the prices and production models of their vehicles. I'll stay tuned for that, and I'll make a video about it once we have more info. The live stream for that is happening at 4 p.m. today. That is, if you're watching this the day it was uploaded, and I'm not going to be working at that time, so that's why I'm unable to cover it today. But tomorrow, I'll try my best. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.